We can't like cut this in half. Yo, real talk. I'm from Brooklyn. I carry a blade. Like I can cut this. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing? But no, like I can just like I sort of work, work on this right here. Hey everybody, it's Nicole Russell from Last Dragon Pizza. Welcome to Pizza Wars on First We Feast. Pizza is one of America's most regional dishes. It's not just about New York, it's not just about Chicago. For decades, Detroit has been home to some of the best pizza on the planet. Detroit pizza was really put on the map by Sean Randazzo. He passed away last year and this episode is dedicated to him. Cooked in a steel tray, a pizza from the D is chewy, saucy, and surrounded by crisp, caramelized cheese. And I can't think of anyone better suited for a Detroit style showdown than my friend, Cliff Skywalker. What up, though? I'm Cliff Skywalker. I'm the owner and operator of Cliff's Pizza in Pontiac, Michigan. I'm always gonna be one to champion how great Detroit style pizza is. It has a special place in my heart, I'm not gonna lie to you. The origins of it coming from blue steel pans that were used for cars, it just is a reflection of not only the hardworking people of the city, but the innovation. So what I'll be doing today is a garlic shrimp pizza. It's just gonna be a great bite with every piece that you have. So today, I'm making our Scar Pariello Detroit style pizza. Sauces, chicken, lemon, and rosemary. Delicious. Today's judges are Food TV icon Adam Richmond and Raina Scully, the host of First We Feast Gochi Gay. These two have eaten all over the world, so I think they're gonna like my non traditional take on a Detroit style pie. Cliff, it's game on, so get ready for the showdown. I'm so excited to have you. Like I said from Jump, it's an honor being here. You have no idea. This is so dope. All right, so let's go. Okay. What you got going on? So I'm going to make a garlic shrimp pizza. It's the go-to for a lot of people on the menu that haven't had my pizza for the first time, and then it becomes their favorite. So what makes a Detroit pizza a Detroit pizza? First off, this pan. This is like a blue steel, a uh, Detroit style pizza pan. The dough goes all the way out to the edge. Okay. The cheese goes all the way out to the edge and you get that like crispy, Ooh. really, really dark brown edge yes. that acts as the crust more so than the actual bread. Oh my God. So let's go. Yeah, let's get let's get straight to it. All right. Um, we have our tomato sauce. Yes. Usually for Detroit style pizza, they do a sauce on top, but I kind of want the shrimp to be the star of the show. That's right. So we're gonna build this like a standard, let's standard do it. pizza, if that's let's okay with do you. Oh, it's perfect with okay. me. We don't do rules on First We Feast. <laughs> Next up is the cheese blend. Okay. Wisconsin brick. This is. Oh my God. Uh, sometimes when you get this sent to you and it gets unpacked, it looks like a key. <laughs> Like, it, like, this is... Don't snort the cheese. Listen. <laughs> I like to hit the edge of the pizza with the brick cheese. And now I'm just going to lay this cube mozzarella just around. Cube mozzarella. Now yes. we're gonna, just going to sprinkle the roasted garlic on because you can't Ooh. have a garlic shrimp pizza without garlic. garlic. shrimp pizza. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you're not supposed to put shrimp on pizza. Listen. I don't see what the problem is. What did you say about First We Feast? There's no rules it, here. It, so guess what we making? Shrimp pizza? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, you got me a little nervous now. Mm -mm, don't do that. Listen, I know that at any moment, <laughs> I'm gonna feel like Joe Pesci when he walked into the room at Goodfellas. Like I know, I know that's coming, and I'm gonna look around and be like, uh, and I know you' about to hit me. Pow! <laughs> so I'm kind of prepared Never for it. This is pretty much set and ready to go. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw this in the oven at around 10 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out real quick, add some shrimp that's been marinated in some sriracha, throw it right back in. The shrimp should cook perfectly as the pizza continues okay. to cook. Oh yeah, the cheese is bubbling. I can see it. Ooh. So I like to give a little flip. Oh, like, oh. Ooh, that looks so good. You showing off right now. Toast with you. Bang. Okay, I gotta get a little piece of shrimp in mine. I'm yeah. putting mine shrimp to the front. Oh. Mm. Go ahead and get a little ASMR. Come on now. Come on now, I heard that from here. <laughs> <laughs> the crust is so pillowy and soft. That's what I like about Detroit pizza, and you nailed that. Thank you. And then I love the crispy edges, and sriracha is actually hitting me right now. Mm. But guess who's going for more? Me. I feel you. 
Mm. You giving me a run for my money for sure. I'm trying to listen. You know what I'm saying? I know you got the home field advantage, but I'm gonna try to do my thing out here in these New York streets. I really love your pizza. Now I want to show you what I'm gonna do. You ready? I respect it. I'm with it. <laughs> Cliff, that shrimp sriracha pizza was incredible. Thank you. And you know, I'm not from the D. I'm from New York, true and true. But today, I'm gonna try to give you a run for your money. My favorite Italian dish is scarpariello. And it's like this sausage, chicken, rosemary, lemon dish. Mm. And every time I go to a restaurant, an Italian restaurant, I automatically say, ah, I want Scarpariello. What I did last night is I took some chicken thighs, let it stew, and then I, you know, added some butter and just deglazed the pan. Some white wine, you know what I'm saying? A little something. I was gonna put some Hennessy for you, but I said, you know what? Let me keep it classy. <laughs> some spicy hot Italian sausage, mm -hmm. rosemary, butter, and lemons. You ready for this? No. So first things first, I'm gonna choose this beautiful aged cheese. Mm. I'm packing the cheese all around the corner so it can get nice and crispy. Yeah, that's it right there. So what I'm gonna do now is add some shredded mozzarella. So I'm gonna go cheese first. Okay. I'm gonna add my sausage and chicken scarpariello mixture. And then I'm just gonna take a little sauce. I'm just doing some stripes across. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna add is some roasted red peppers. I think it rounds out the flavor so nicely. We're gonna throw this in the oven for about 10 minutes, and I don't know, I'm excited for you to try this. Okay, Ooh. it's out. Woo! It is sizzling. It's like a frying pizza. I think I deep fried my Detroit. This might be a little bad for him. I gotta take a picture of this, though. That's crazy. Yes. Are you ready to try this? Born ready. If he rolls his eyes, I know it's good. What do you think? You like it? He always does that. When Cliff does the eye roll, you know you Gucci. <laughs> Listen. Mm. In the words of Bernie Mac, I'm in trouble. <laughs> trouble. You get that pillowiness in the middle. Mm -hmm. The sauce, perfect complement to the cheese. That scarpariello, that's a whole different set of problems that I unfortunately have to deal with. <laughs> um, we're on camera, so I'm trying to be modest. As soon as you cut, this is gonna look like a murder scene. <laughs> Well, Cliff, your pizza was outstanding. Thank you. And you know, I did my best, and I feel like my dish is pretty amazing, too. But we gotta go to the judges' table. We got Adam Richmond here, food TV legend. Wow. And we got Raina Scully, our first we feast family. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Win or lose, I'm just proud of you. I'm proud of you. Let's go. Raina, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having us. All you had to say was pizza. <laughs> <laughs> today, it's all about Detroit-style pizza. Cliff and I, we both made some great pizzas for you today. And Cliff, you're gonna go first. Fair enough. All right, so what you have in front of you is a garlic shrimp pizza. The shrimp was marinated in sriracha overnight. A Little bit of uh, roasted garlic with it. Topped it with basil and a little honey sriracha. Ooh. Something I call the elixir. So have at it, enjoy. <laughs> Ooh, the elixir. The elixir. <laughs> I love it. I have to say, one thing I love is just aesthetically, you know, because you, you do eat with your eyes a little bit. Yeah, This absolutely. is just beautiful looking. All right, shall we? We shall. Mm. Wow. Oh, Ooh, the honey. Is that the elixir? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Wow. Man, I gotta get my favorite part of that lacy crust. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh hey, right God. there, that's well, how you know it's a watch real Watch this ASMR. Oh! <laughs> Put me from here up, because I'm having reactions <laughs> down below. I'm trying to make sure my microphone gets the crunchy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm. I think it sort of shows like a very chef knowledgeable hand in that you par bake and then add the shrimp. So the shrimp are perfect. I love that little spicy kick. It's so good. Oh, it works its way heat. perfectly. Yeah, that sweet heat, that honey is crazy. It works so Ooh. well. Thank you so much. It's so good. In short, I'm moving into Cliff's house. Oh hey God. man, we got a spare bedroom, man. What's up? You. <laughs> I got to pronounce you Cliff and Adam. Dude. <laughs> Well, this is certainly a tough act to follow, but this is my pizza, mm. and the topping is scarpariello. Have you guys ever had scarpariello? Do I look like a man who's not acquainted with an <laughs> Italian restaurant? <laughs> 
This is not the physique of well, an underwear model, Nicole. that is my <laughs> favorite Italian dish, right? The dough is a very high water dough. I also added semolina to the dough, so it gives it a little bit more texture. <laughs> kind of maybe behaves like a cornmeal for the bite. Yeah, but okay. not as hard. Yeah, so it's yeah, gonna yeah, give yeah. it a little, oh, oh you know what I mean? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's gonna give it a little what? Gotcha. Gotcha. I heard you. Heard you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God, I'm so scared. Oh. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I am a huge Italian food fan. It's oh. hitting the Italian palate. There's kind of a kick with some of the sausage. We need that note that's a little bit different. It can't yeah. just be the same over and over. It's so good. And this is the other thing too, that you can see how the fermentation really worked beautifully, oh. creating those wonderful air pockets of oh. the dough. You wanted to recreate Scarpariello, and you brought that. Oh, thank you. I was really hoping one of y'all would fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Adam. Okay, Raina. You showed us both so much love, but now is the moment of truth. Who will go home with the pizza trophy? We can't like cut oh, this in half. Yo, real talk. I'm from Brooklyn. I carry a blade. Like I can cut this. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing? But no, but I'm <laughs> okay. Just sort of work, work on this right here. I'm gonna be honest. I think that there's like a millimeter difference in one element. I, I think. Oh my God, oh yeah. My God, oh my yeah, God. absolutely. Oh my okay. God. That was the deciding factor. I think it's just that little yeah. like Michael Phelps fingertip touching 0. 0.007 that. seconds ahead. Three, two, one. Nicole. Nicole. Oh, Dad! Well, thank you. And honestly, it was like the flavor of the semolina in the crust, and it wasn't a matter of better, it was just different. The fact that we can identify it, the fact that we could both bite into it and we know what it is, that's big. Real talk, I personally feel I could flip a coin and wherever it landed, like easily declare either one the winner. They are both fantastically successful, fantastically delicious pizzas. I wanna just say thank you so much, Cliff. Yeah, yeah. For everything. Thank you so much. And I really wanted to represent the D with you. And I just so appreciate you coming through. Hell yeah. And join us next week on Peace Awards. Peace.